System Start To start the shear line, first turn on the control power switch on the console. Next, press the System Start button, then on the side of the shear, press the Start button. Test Setup Diagnostics To test the outputs on the machine, from the main screen press the Test Setup button. This will bring up the diagnostic screen. Here you can test the stops, bins, discharge arms, load frame arms, and the table in and out functions. You can also test the inputs on the machine. At the top of the diagnostic screen, press the Show Inputs button. You can test each of the switches on the machine. This can help troubleshoot problems with the machine quickly. As you activate the various switches, the inputs will turn red on the screen and say On. Preload Operation To test the preload operation on the entry conveyor, make sure the preload swing arms are in position over the conveyor. Then, shake down some bars onto the preload swing arms. Press the preload button on the console. The bars should be lifted by the red letdown arms. The preload arm should then swing out of the way. You can manually test the preload operation from the switches located on the entry conveyor. The top switch operates the red letdown arms. The bottom switch operates the preload swing arms. System Stop To stop the shear line, either press the emergency stop button on the side of the shear or press the emergency stop button on the console. The lift gate between the shear and the entry conveyor has a limit switch that will prevent the conveyor from moving if the gate is up. When shutting down the line, switch the control power switch to the off position on the console. Manual Multi-Cut Manual Multi-Cut allows the operator to set up multiple jobs at a time. From the main screen, press the Manual Multi-Cut button on the touch screen. You will enter the Manual Multi-Cut screen. From here, there are two ways to enter data, Manual Data Entry or Quick Entry. For Quick Entry, see the Quick Entry video. For Manual Entry, select the line you want to enter information into. In this example, we are selecting Line 1. Select the Manual Data Entry icon from the top of the screen. Enter the length. In this case, for line 1, we entered 14 feet 10 inches. Next, enter the total number of pieces needed. In this example, we are using 20. Enter the stop you want to discharge from. Then, enter the bin you want to discharge to. Select the next line and continue to enter in the lines manually. Notice the graphic on the left of the screen will show you how much of the bar you are using and the graphic at the bottom will tell you where you have designated the bar to be discharged. When you have completed entering in your data, select the lines you want to run. If you would like to optimize the length of bar, press the Opti button at the top of the screen. The graphic on the left will update and show you a visual cue of how much bar you are using. Then, press the Run button at the top of the screen. The screen will give the operator visual cues on what to do next. Manual Quick Cut Manual Quick Cut allows the operator to quickly set up one job at a time. From the main screen, press the Manual Quick Cut button on the touch screen. You will enter the Manual Quick Cut screen. Select the number of feet, in this case 14 feet. Then select the number of inches, in this example 10 inches. Next, select the discharge stop you want to run the bar out to. 
In this example, we have selected the 20-foot stop. Then, select the bin you want to discharge into. The discharge stops that are unavailable to discharge into will not show. Press the Run button. Quick Entry Quick Entry simulates the toggle-style controls. It is also useful if you are in the middle of running a bar list and you want to interrupt it to run another job without losing your place. From the manual Quick Cut screen, select the Quick Entry button at the top of the screen. Select the number of feet, then inches. Then, select the number of pieces you need. Next, select the discharge stop you want and the bin you want to discharge into. Press Enter after each line is entered. When the data entry is complete, press the back button at the top of the screen. The lines you have entered will now appear in the manual multi-cut screen. Select the lines you want to run. If you would like to optimize the length of bar, press the Opti button at the top of the screen. The graphic on the left will update and show you a visual cue of how much bar you are using. Bar List Bar List allows the operator to enter a list of bars to be cut. From the main screen, press the Bar List button on the touch screen. You will enter the Bar List screen. Press the manual data entry icon at the top of the screen. Select the first line you want to enter the data into. Enter the length and total needed for each line. Once you have entered all the lines required, select the Opti button from the top of the screen. The optimized Shear Schedule screen will appear. The arrows allow you to scroll through the bar list and gives the operator all the information he needs to complete the tag, including the number of bars needed, how many bars to load, and the number of remnants left over. Press the Run button. You will enter the Optimized List Shearing screen. Press the Run button again at the top of the screen. The Discharge Stop and Bin field will be highlighted. Here you can use the up and down arrow keys to select the bin to discharge into, and the left and right arrows to select which discharge stop location you want. Once you have selected the Discharge Stop and Bin, press the Enter button from the pop-up menu. Run the first tag. Follow the instructions on the screen. Once the line is completed, the Tagging Done button will appear. Tag the bundle and press the Tagging Done button to move to the next line. Bar Lists Bar lists can also be imported from third-party production software. The bar list must have a .lst file extension. Copy the bar list file onto a USB drive. Insert the drive into the console. Under the bar list screen, press the files icon at the top of the screen. A pop-up screen will appear. If you have multiple lists, they will appear in the pop-up screen. Select the list you want to use using the arrow keys, then press Enter. The list will appear under the Bar List Entry screen. Odd Even On the first section of the table, stops 2 to 8 are spaced 12 inches apart. After stop number 8, the stops are spaced 24 inches apart. Stop number 8 is used for 9 foot lengths as well. Thus, the table needs to travel 12 inches in either direction to cover the lengths between the stops. For instance, if you are entering an odd length, say 9 feet 6 inches, the table will use the 8 foot stop, then need to move out 12 inches for the 9 feet, plus another 6 inches more to make the 9 foot 6 inch length. 
The principle is the same for metric units. Position Calibration To calibrate the measuring conveyor from the main screen, press the Test Setup button. Then at the top of the screen, press the Toolbox icon. This will bring up the Machine Setup screen. Enter the password. Press the Position Speed and Manual Position buttons at the bottom of the screen. They should appear highlighted in pink. Next, use the Table Out, Table In switch to manually position the table all the way in so that the pointer is on zero. Note the number that appears in the box under Position MM. Enter that number into Positioner 0 field and press Enter. Then, move the table all the way out until the pointer is on 12. Note the number that appears in the box under Position MM. Enter that number into Position or Max field and press Enter. Press the Position Speed and Manual Position buttons at the bottom of the screen. They should appear gray. Otherwise, the table will not move in automatic mode. To test the position or calibration, enter the Quick Cut screen and put in a measurement. In this example, we use 6 feet 6 inches. Check that the pointer is on 6. Save File Save File allows the operator to save common bar lists and recall them. From the manual multi-cut screen, press the Save File icon at the top of the screen. Select the Save Current Setup button from the pop-up screen. To load the saved list, select the Save File icon from the top of the screen. Then, press the Load Setup button from the pop-up screen. Your list of saved files will appear. Use the arrow keys to select the list you wish to load. Once the list is selected, press the Enter button from the pop-up. The list will then appear in the manual multi-cut screen. To delete stored files, select the Save File icon from the top of the screen. Then, press the Load Setup button from the pop-up screen. Your list of saved files will appear. Use the arrow keys to select the list you wish to load. Once the list is selected, press the Delete button from the pop-up. Scanning Tags Tags can be scanned from either the Manual Multicut screen or the Bar List Entry screen. Press the Scan icon at the top of the screen. Scan the tags. As each tag is scanned, the controls will automatically advance to the next line. When all of the tags are scanned, press the Opti button at the top of the screen and then Run.